like a jelly. I, I like to say that it's world famous. Um, but I first wrote this recipe in February, I think, around the Super Bowl of 2010 for an office party. And everyone who had it said, oh my God, this is like the best chili I've ever had. I was like, duh, because I made it. Um, but seriously, it is so good. If you like buffalo anything, you will love this chili. And not too long after, I think it was the fall of 2010, people kept t t messaging me saying, Biz, I entered your buffalo chicken chili in my office chili uh, cook-off or uh, block party, anything. And um, people were winning. And I was like, well wait, if they're winning at my recipe, why can't I, you know, win something with my recipe? So as luck would have it, I met a woman named Heather uh, Sugarman. She was at one of my first beef events that I went to in 2013. And she messaged me not long after we met and she said, Biz, there's a um, national uh, recipe contest and uh, the um, first prize is $10,000. And she's like, I think you should put your buffalo chicken chili in that recipe. But it was a crock pot recipe. And I was like, fuck, I've never made it in the crock pot. But I wrote it as if I did make it in the crock pot, submitted it, and then I got an email saying that I was one of the top 10 and it was for sparkpeople.com. I don't even know if that website is still available, but anywho, um, they made all 10 recipes and then their whole office tasted them and everything. And it was a share of the pot. So I got $5,000 and I got to pick a charity to give it away to. So I had actually picked my mom's church as my charity because they have a food pantry and they have pads and all this stuff. And they asked me to change my, my charity to something more nationally recognized. And I was like, why do they care where I give my money away? But then I thought maybe they thought I was just gonna give the other 5,000 to my mom and then my mom would give it to me. I don't know. They didn't know that my mom was at their church, whatever. Um, so I got to work and they said they were gonna give, like by five o'clock that day, they were gonna call the person who uh, won. And at the time my husband was sick, so I was working two jobs and um, I waited till five o'clock and then I had to be at my other job at like 5.30. So I was like waiting, I don't know why I was waiting at my desk like for somebody to call me, but um, then by 5.15, I didn't get a phone call. So I was like, I didn't win, it's fine. So I got ready to go to my next, um, um, oh, and I like how there's a hair tie right there. It's clean, I just was holding the phone with it. Um, sorry, I just got distracted. Anyway, um, my one boss that, that I was working with at the time, he said, um, you're not gonna win. And I was like, you don't know that. And as soon as I got in my car, I got the phone call that I won. And I ran back in the office and I was like, look at this, I won. And he's like, yeah, wait till I see the uh, the check. And so basically when I got the check, I made like a hundred little copies of it and pasted it all around his monitor so we could see it every day. So here's what we're gonna do uh, for this buffalo chicken chili. Um, it's really hard for me to find um, chicken that's ground, that's all white meat. It's usually like, you know, uh, white and dark meat. and um, I just imagine them like picking up like chicken pieces and putting it in a thing and just blending it. So I'm just going to use, this is two pounds of um, chicken and I'm just going to throw it in my food processor. Hi, by the way. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about because I, I have no room in my kitchen. So I'm going to be making a studio over there. But for now, this is the janky video that you guys get. You're welcome. So yeah, I'm just putting it all in there. And be warned, my food processor is old and crappy. So um, it's gonna be loud, but don't worry about it. And then we're just gonna, just gonna grind it up. chicken. So I'm going to add that to my uh, pan over there that I'm going to heat a tablespoon of um, canola oil. And then I'm going to get that started. And then I'm going to blend up the rest of my ingredients. So hang on. So the best part about this recipe is there's really no chopping at all. I just, this is a one red pepper, some carrots and celery. 
and I've rinsed out my um, food processor because it had raw chicken in it. And I'm adding today, um, I usually use tomato sauce, but I'd have um, fire roasted diced garlic um, tomatoes. It's kind of chunky, so I'm gonna puree that up with the vegetables so it'll puree a little bit easier. And then it's so simple. So then it's just adding um, uh, two tablespoons of cumin, half a cup of um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, a shit ton of garlic. That's almost like probably a half a cup. I like it garlicky. Five tablespoons of um, chili powder, and then you can use any beans you want, two cans, and just what I had on hand, these pink beans and these small kidney beans, and then a, a big can of um, just crushed tomatoes. Uh, but I will tell you that these carrots taste so much better than uh, baby carrots. Don't, don't, don't fucking buy baby carrots. I'll find you. These are usually cheaper anyway, and they are so much more flavor. So get them with the, if you can, with the um, top on it. Otherwise, um, just get whole carrots, because baby carrots taste like ass. So don't, don't do that. So I'm gonna put that in the food processor on my bench. processor so I might have to cut some of this stuff up to get it in there um, hold on hold on it's gonna be like the best video ever yeah and back oh and shout out to my friend Tino shredded sprout Shredded Sprout.com for this amazing um, apron. She's in my cooking club. And she gave them out the last time we had cooking club. Okay, let's try that. chicken um, cooking. I'm not going to brown it. I'm just kind of just starting to cook it and then um, break up the pieces. I'm just going to add our vegetable mixture and all of this and the beans and the tomato sauce. And that's basically it. And then it simmer for 30 minutes and it's like the best buffalo chicken chili you'll ever have. So you're welcome. So I just have a tablespoon of oil in here and I'm just gonna kind of break up the chicken. I'm gonna go like two more minutes so it's almost all white. And then add the vegetable mixture I used, which makes it like one point per serving if you even wanna count that um, because it makes a lot, obviously. Um, but I'm going to post this recipe um, on the Instagram. I finished the YouTube video. Chili is so good. Like, I can't even. Um, and I think my original recipe, I don't even have salt in here, but I did add a teaspoon of salt this time. Um, but it is so, so good. Let's make it. 